An industrial accident that cost a Spokane man his leg has triggered thousands of dollars in fines for alleged safety violations at a Spokane mill. The Department of Labor and Industries has cited the Purina plant on East Trent for more than a dozen serious safety issues, including the incident last October that left an employee's mangled limb trapped in an auger. KXY 4's Jeff Humphrey was at the plant where inspectors say the problems have now been corrected. Occupational safety inspectors came here the day that man was rescued from the auger, hoping to learn what caused his injuries. However, as they began looking around the mill, they found more than another dozen alleged safety violations. This is our first look at the catwalk where 29-year-old David Olinger was working when his leg was literally wrapped around a horizontal screw used to push feed through the plant. In a remarkable rescue effort, surgeons drove to the scene and freed Olinger from the machinery by amputating his leg below the knee. Labor and Industries have now fined Purina $1,500 for not guarding against the equipment from starting up while Olinger was still working on it. Well, the employer was cited for not ensuring that lockout tagout procedures were used to protect the employees when they were servicing or cleaning equipment. As inspectors toured the plant, they found three other places where workers were exposed to moving machinery and a half dozen fall or trip hazards where employees could fall up to 25 feet. Spokane's fire department is also concerned about the citation that found unsafe buildups of combustible dust in the production area of the plant. In all, Purina was cited for a total of 16 violations in order to pay $11,520 in fines. And we know from extensive research that um, in workplaces where an LNI inspection has occurred, there are fewer serious injuries in the, uh, that occur in the years that follow. A Purina spokesperson issued the following statement, which reads, safety is a core value and top priority for our company. We cooperated fully with OSHA during its investigation and are currently reviewing the citation. Our thoughts are with the individual who was injured. Purina is now in the process of appealing those fines and has said through its attorneys to labor and industries inspectors that not a single one of those violations are valid. Reporting in Spokane, Jeff Humphrey, KXLY4.